So if you're having uh, battery problems with your StarSense Explorer, specifically the finder scope, the red dot finder scope, um, you probably just check in the uh, manual on how to change out the battery. <laughs> However, uh, it doesn't give you a lot of information. Uh, as you can see here, it's just a, basically tells you to take off the battery compartment using a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated than that, as I learned, as I tried to replace the battery and it did not function. So um, here's a view of it. It's, it's a top loading battery. I've seen uh, older models that the battery goes underneath and there's a retention clip that holds the battery in place. Uh, this newer version does not have that. You, know, you open up the top compartment and you will find a very small, tiny metal uh, clip which holds the battery in. Now, this is also the positive uh, terminal connection to the battery. Uh, so it is very important that this retention clip is set up properly to hold your battery in place. So you can see here, um, it's also got some plastic uh, retaining tabs uh, at the back of the battery. Uh, again, this holds the battery in firmly in place. So to remove the battery, you're going to gently pull up on the battery on the side with that retention clip. So that retention clip, that metal clip, will move and it will let the battery uh, pop out. So you can see there, the battery comes loose uh, from that retention clip side. And let's take a look uh, at the details here. So for me, you know, with my eyes, I couldn't even really see this stuff. So when I was changing it the first time, I did not notice this tiny um, retaining clip uh, on that left side there. Uh, and so if you're not paying attention and you're not careful, um, you can make a big mistake and damage that clip uh, as you're trying to reinstall the battery. And so, so that's exactly what I did. I popped the battery in and I tried to jam it in. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I ended up bending that retaining clip all the way down. And then the battery was loose in there. So I knew there was a problem. Uh, I was able to re-bend the retaining clip up uh, and get it back into its original position uh, to be able to use it uh, properly and so the battery would work. Um, so you can see there, that's kind of what I had to use. It's a real small, um, real small tool, uh, re-bend it up, and then I'm able to reinstall. And so the trick here is you want to carefully slide the battery under the retention clip and then push it down to the back side and it will click. You'll have a nice satisfying click as those plastic tabs uh, snap into place on the back. Okay, and you'll know, um, you'll know it's in place uh, because number one, you'll hear the clicks uh, and number two, the battery, uh, it'll be snug in there with the retaining clip on top and those tabs on the back. And the, uh, the battery won't rattle around uh, you can turn it sideways and upside down, the battery's going to stay put. So finally, just go ahead and re-put that screw on and reinstall the cover. And my final tip is to try to eliminate the problem in the first place, which is to remember uh, to turn it off after you've used it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure my battery died just because I didn't, um, didn't turn that knob back and turn it off. I appreciate you watching. Uh, hope this helped you out. This is really frustrating for me.